Welcome back to Better Than Before. Over the course of my career as an executive coach and as a business advisor, I've come across people who have a trouble, who have trouble networking, who have trouble making connection. There are people who are just naturally gifted at connecting with people. And then there's people who struggle with it. So for those of you who struggle with networking and connection, I've got you know a couple of tactics I'm going to share with you. Here's the first one. You want to project your self-image in a way that make other people confident. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing that's going to make people more confident when they meet you is how you shake hands. Just in your handshake, right? Because your handshake is an indicator of your self-image. So is the way you dress. Everything from your hair to your shoes is an indicator of who you are and what your style may be or not be. When you use that projected image, that's going to create a first impression. And even though first impressions are not always correct, they are the ones that stick in the mind of the other person until you correct it, right? So you ask yourself, what kind of image do I have of myself? And is it reflected in the way that I dress, the way that I carry myself, in the way that I introduce myself, in the way that I shake hands, right? And so the image of you on the inside has to be grown and, and perfected and strengthened, and it will work its way to the outside, right? What's the kind of image you think that you're projecting to other people? And you may go to a couple of people and just ask them, hey, when you... When you encounter me for the first time or when you encounter me, what kind of impression are you getting? And, and get ready for an honest answer and let them be honest with you, right? And do you think that image is acceptable, right? Now, you can have the kind of attitudes like, well, why do I got to do that? You know, or why can't I just be who I am, you know, and all of that kind of stuff? Well, you know, results can vary. And so if you're happy with the results you're getting with the image that you're projecting, I guess you don't have to change anything. But if you're not happy with the results you're getting and you're networking, you might want to think about some of the things that I'm talking about. Here's number two, your ability to look someone in the eye as you speak to them is a telltale sign of your own self-image and self-respect. So can you look people in the eye? Can you make eye contact? It's a display of confidence. It's a display of truth. It's a display of respect for the other person. It's very annoying and very irritating when somebody won't look you in the eye. You're thinking, gee, what is wrong with this person? What do they got to hide? You know, they're acting all shifty or something. So if you find it hard to make eye contact with the other person and you don't want to do it with high beams, you know, you don't want to do it with hard eye. I call it hard eyes, you know, and you don't want to just look like you're hypnotized or something. You want to do it with soft eyes and you don't want to do the soft eyes so much that you're, it's not a come on look. It's just somewhere in between, between come hither and I'm going to murder you. It's in between, right? I mean, ask yourself when other people can't make eye contact with you, what are you thinking? And so you just have to believe that the reverse is true. Number three, the less you focus on your motive to meet, the more likely it is your connection will be successful. So your motivation just has to be to connect with people. Take, take all the other motives out of it, right? Most people trying to make a connection have some sort of motive. I mean, everybody knows that. That's okay. Depending on when you make the ask, it should be sooner rather than later. But look for making the connection and making a friend and being accepted first. Drop your agenda and focus on the connection. Don't focus on extracting something from someone. So you, you don't want your focus to come across like you're looking for a short-term gain. You want your focus to come across like you're looking for a long-term relationship. And also, how can you help each other? Number four, take a genuine interest in other people before you ask them to take a genuine interest in you. It's the old give-get principle, right? Give, give your interest away in them before you expect them to give their interest to you. 
If you're trying to connect with another person, it just seems obvious to me you'd want to get to know them, not just qualify them. You know, if you've had sales training, don't just qualify them. But you want to learn from them and you want to be interested in them. The best way to find out about other people is to ask questions. And so I'd ask you, do you have a list of questions prepared in advance that will bring you an understanding of who you're meeting with? You need to do some preparation. You don't just go out to a networking event, especially if you're not very good about it. And, and if you're not, you're not looking forward to it and you're dreading it and you've got low confidence, you need to do some prep and have a list of questions prepared in advance that, you know, will help you bridge the gap. And finally, and this just seems like good old homespun wisdom, but be friendly first and everything else falls into place. Friendliness breeds likability and trust. People do business with people they like. The twin of friendly is smiley. So people who smile are 100 times more attractive than people who don't. Smiling not only sets the tone for others, it's the reflection you give them about who you are. And you might say, I don't have a good smile. I don't like smiling. Okay, you're already telling me about your self-image, right? About how you feel about yourself. I don't feel like I have a good toothy smile. So I do more of a grin, right? I grin, but my whole face grins, right? When I do it. And so I, you know, I, I wish I had a great upper toothy smile. And, and they always say, you know, the Hollywood stars, when you look at them and they're on magazines in the grocery rack or whatever, you just look at a professionally done photograph. Usually you just see their upper teeth right? When they're smiling, you don't want to, you know, have one of those smiles where you see every tooth in their head, you know? So, you know, smile with the upper teeth. And if you've got a great smile, let the world know about it. Right. And so that tells people you're friendly, friendly and smiley. And so be friendly first and everything else falls into place. So those are some connection and networking tips that you can use the next time you have to go out and do some networking, especially if you don't have a plan or if you don't feel like you're good at it or you don't feel like you like it. Thank you for listening to Better Than Before with Tony Richards, a business leaders podcast powered by Clear Vision Development Group. For more resources from Tony, visit clearvisiondevelopment.com. Join us next time for another episode of Better Than Before with Tony Richards.